Welcome back YouTube to Rick's YouTube channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your Xbox. If you've got problems loaded into Fortnite or your Xbox is not updating. So we've really had this new season, uh, it's been out a couple of days, chapter three, season three. There's been a, a big update for the Xbox in the past 24 hours and sometimes it conflicts with Fortnite because we've just had the new season. So if you are having problems loading into Fortnite, or your Xbox is not installing the update very well, all you've got to do is keep your finger on the power button, it'll switch off, keep it on there until it completely turns off, then let it go, then get your Xbox, this will work on the Xbox One, the Xbox Series S, and also the Xbox One X and Series X. So unplug your LAN cable, if you've got a LAN cable unplugged into it, Unplug the HDMI cable, then get your power cord and take that out as well. So there's nothing whatsoever plugged in to your Xbox. Now just leave it out for literally about two minutes and then plug everything back in. And what's going to happen, this is called power cycling. So it will power cycle your Xbox down. So basically, what all it's doing is cleaning out the cache. And then all you want to do is plug the power cable back in, like so. So that power cable's back in. Get your HDMI cable, plug that in. That's plugged in. And if you're using a, a LAN cable, plug that back in now I recommend updating your Xbox using a LAN cable that's just connected to uh, a hub which is connected to my PC uh, and then it shares the internet connection because I'm quite away from my router so when it's updating or installing a game if it misses out if it misses out a few kilobytes over Wi-Fi that will put your Xbox into a, a freeze so like a boot loop just because you're missing a few kilobytes of data over Wi-Fi, there's been an interruption. So that usually happens of when you update your Xbox or installing a game and it doesn't quite install fully. Then all you do is switch the Xbox back on. So I've just turned the Xbox back on. I'm gonna to have to change the screen on the monitor again and put it over to the Xbox. Move all these cables out of the way. So the Xbox is starting back up. And that is your Xbox power cycled. So if you've had any problems updating your Xbox, now the Xbox should update. But like I said, remember, if you can use a data cable connected to your router, it's a, a lot more better than using Wi-Fi when you're updating your console or trying to update Fortnite or any other game and you get stuck on a boot loop. So let me know in the comment section if this helps you out and I shall get back to you with another one. Thanks for watching.